Khalil Gibran counseled his father, you will have a son, a man of exceptional gifts, of great abilities, but also a man of great sorrows. Before he was born, even before his parents met, it was foreseen that he would have psychic powers. On November 26, 1926, Alexander Skanda Tanis, the eldest of eight sons, was born in Van Buren, Maine to Anne Alice Shalala Tanis and Thomas Tanis. Alex began to display unusual psychic powers at age 18 months. When he was nine, he had accurately predicted the imminent death of an apparently healthy family friend. At 13, he cautioned a neighbor's son against crossing railroad tracks. Within a short time, he was killed by a train. These early episodes in his life led into a lifetime of research, experiments, and study into the paranormal and related fields. Dr. Tannis graduated from the former Van Buren Boys High School in 1944. He served in the Army branch of the military and went on to complete a classical education at Boston College. From 1960 to 1965, he collected an impressive array of degrees, philosophy, sacred sciences, education counseling, and a doctor of divinity from the College of Metaphysics. He began his career as an educator at Manhattan College, St. John's University, Thornton Academy, and Chevres High School. Alex worked with Dr. Carlos Osis at the American Society for Psychical Research in New York City for more than 16 years as they pioneered many scientific experiments. Dr. Tannis was also a self-taught artist, musician, and composer. Much of his work has been published. He was a host of many radio shows as well as a guest on television talk shows and documentaries. In the years before his passing, he taught classes on psychic phenomena and self-help at the University of Southern Maine and was a sought-after and respected lecturer and researcher in Japan, China, Egypt, and Canada. Dr. Tannis passed away in 1990 with a lifetime of promoting education for all, young and old. From working with his younger brothers to working with mentally disabled children, Dr. Tannis's healing hands were always at work. No one who met or knew Alex ever left with a feeling other than comfort, love, and friendship. At his bequest, his foundation will continue his work, making it accessible to all. Alex's specific wish was for the foundation to conduct a definitive study of his life. The following comments were made by the two researchers who completed the extensive research into the life of Dr. Alex Tanis. Alex was uncommonly well-loved. He was respected by his colleagues and respected and loved by his family. His legacy of deep insight and committed service to others is what will endure long after any specifics about Alex's life ways have been examined, debated, and or dismissed. Researcher Polly Bunnell, Portland, Maine. Alex was a teacher and a healer who moved to the edges of these fields by virtue of the psychic powers that he asserted and used. Among the gratifying results of this research has been the confirmation that Alex really was a good person and that many people believe that his powers were genuine. Researcher Fred Frohawk, Professor of Political Science at Syracuse University. In June 2002, the Alex Tannis Foundation for Scientific Research announced the opening of the Alex Tannis Research Library located at the Rhine Research Center, 2741 Campus Walk Avenue, Durham, North Carolina. It is a visible accomplishment dedicated to fulfilling Alex's dreams and furthering the mission of the Alex Tannis Foundation. Copies of the Dr. Tannis archives, including the research outcome and taped interviews prepared by Dr. Frohawk and Polly Bunnell, are housed at the Alex Tannis Research Library.